in this sheet here, we have, we could say a large set of data. When I say large, in this case, it's large because it won't fit in one page. And since our subject today is about printing, I'm considering this large. It will be a challenge to print this, or it could be if you are not aware of all the options available. And so this one goes up to column AD, so a little bit over, maybe around 30 columns or so. And if we scroll down, we have 150 rows. So it's not really a large set of data, but if we want to print this, all this information for some reason, I'm not sure why someone would want to print this, but if we do, it can be a challenge. So uh, we have a column with sales rep and the column with department, and then a bunch of columns with dates. And uh, I could even assume that we could continue to expand the sets, the number of columns, and if we continue to receive information. Anyways, so let's imagine I want to print this. If we go to File and then Print, we are brought to this area here where we can set different things about printing. Okay. If we scroll here at the bottom, we can see one out of 15, meaning we have at the moment 15 pages. So Excel will try to print everything we have in that spreadsheet, everything that has any kind of data, text, numbers, or even just formatting. Excel will consider the area embracing all the used cells, used range, to be an area to print if you don't tell it anything otherwise so if we scroll through these numbers here we can see that it's kind of scrolling down so the name the names i believe are sorted alphabetically so it's going down and then when it reaches down it goes to the next page to the right because so the next set of columns that did not fit in the first page and then at this point if someone receives this it will be very hard for this person to know what these numbers are, right? There's no dates at the top. There's no names on the left. So who could this be? Someone receiving a document like this would probably have to lay all the pages and glue them with some kind of tape or something, floor maybe because it would not fit on a table. And, and but so it's not practical at all. Okay, so there's a few things that we will be able to do improve this. Remember that if we at some point we are here printing this thing, we don't know what the date is, what the name is. So the first thing to address that is to come to print titles. And if we do that print titles here, we have print area and under print titles, we have rows to repeat at the top, columns to repeat on the left. That's a very important thing to do. Okay. So if I click here and say the rows I want to repeat at the top is row one, and I can select multiple rows. I believe they have to be continuous and uh, columns to repeat. I can choose uh, these two. And it doesn't need to be the first columns or the first rows. It could be, for example, the fifth row. I would want to have repeated every time we need to print a new page. OK, so just doing this, click OK. If we now go to print preview, now we got 20 pages. Uh, so from 15, we went to 20. But now we'll see what happens. We always have the sales rep, the department, and then the headers with the dates. And but sometimes the, the sheet, for example, at the end, we have just one column because that's what was left to print. But now at least it will be a great help for, for someone who has to read this information printed, don't you think?